meet you out is the Shogunstein, and we're going to roll out the 4,000 piece, 42,100 technique excavator built by Little Shogunstein. How was the build? Good. About how long did it take you? A long time. It took a long time, it took about a week. Normally he finishes these kits in like an hour, two hours. This took a week. He is using a smart device to control it. There is the excavator. It is on the, uh, the tile. It's moving better than it did on the carpet. On the carpet it didn't really move that well. This is all built from the several instruction books. 4,000 pieces. Took about a week. Little Shogunstein installed an app. Installed a bunch of batteries, built this thing step by step, and it is now excavating. Again, this is the 42,100 excavator Technic Lego. Uh, quite a big price tag on it, close to 400 bucks on the MSRP. 4,000 pieces. We know Legos, um, the kits are very expensive. This one, this uh, is a remote control, is probably the the most expensive Lego that we've uh, built. I just want to say that the Amazon Vine program provided us this to build and test out. So we were given this by Amazon Vine to build and review. Just as a disclaimer here, so that way people don't think there's any payola involved. All right, let's see this thing moving. Again, it didn't really move so well on the carpet. Now we're trying it on the floor. Can it move forward or back? No. So it looks like we have one of the tracks moving and the other track looks like it is, it is stuck. So little Shogunstein might have to go back and take a look at uh, what's going on with that. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's moving. It's moving. And you can see right in there is the, the battery pack. This thing takes a lot of batteries, a lot of little uh, connections that had to be made. And look at this thing go. It's watching me. So... Little Shogunstein, scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this Lego? 7 and a half. 7 and a half. Why would you give it a 7 and a half? Well, because the track isn't working. And I, don't, I don't know if that's my fault or its fault. So that'll be something we'll have to look at. We're going to have to look at the track and see if there's something we need to adjust. This is, uh, again, the first time through it. It looked like it was moving before. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to maybe take a look at the, the track a little little better. How would you rate the instructions, Little Shogunstein? Were they clear? Yes. Yeah. Was there any kind of confusion at all with the instructions? Nope. So the instructions were uh, very well detailed. How many instruction books? Two. Two giant instruction books. About how many steps involved? Um, over a thousand. Over a thousand steps so again, this is a huge Lego, over 4,000 pieces. You're making your own remote control excavator. And again, this is the box, the, the Technic, and you're using an app on your phone to control it. You do have to get the batteries. That was maybe one critique that I would have for a Lego this expensive. I think they could have thrown in a couple of uh, batteries. So... This is the, the longest I've seen him work on a single Lego. So we've looked at other Legos that were not as expensive as this, but still expensive, you know, $150 price tag, and he's done in a couple hours. This was a week's worth of, of building, and now with the remote control, you know, obviously there, there are going to be lots of things he can do with it after, as opposed to a lot of Legos which just sit on the, the, the cabinet or on the shelf somewhere this is something that's going to actually uh, can do something again we're gonna to have to look at whether we did something wrong but we whether uh, little Shogunstein needs to um, maybe adjust something on the track or not or if the thing uh, actually doesn't move as well as we would like we don't know that we'll have to take a look at that but certainly the excavator part is is working any other 
controls or cool moves you can do with it? Nope. All right, so this is the uh, 42,100 Lieberher Technic Excavator or built, took a week. Certainly the uh, shovel part of it is working. And uh, one of the tracks seems to be working good. Let's see, it's moved. Yeah, see, this is what we're going to have to look at, whether or not um, there's something here. See, it's moving now. See, it's moving. Here we go. So, if you're into Legos, oh. this might be something to... Oh. What'd you figure out? What'd you figure out, little Shogunstein? I was turning it left and right, but not... Oh, so look at that. So on the control, you were moving it left and right. And what did you have to do on the control? I have to put on both. Use them both at the same time. And then it's moving. So both at the same time. So looks like the tracks are working. And again, this is something that was just in bags and bags. How many of the bags were numbered? What, one to six? Mm -hmm. The bags were numbered one to six, 4,000 pieces worth. And... Uh, well, this is a, oh, I think that is for it to shovel. I think yeah. you actually can shovel those. So I think you're supposed to take it out of the bag to shovel. So we want to thank Amazon Vine and Lego for sending us this uh, really cool Lego that kept a little Shogun's team busy for, for quite a while. And we're going to have some fun with the remote control. So it looks like the tracks are all working. Uh, so check it out. Lego Technic uh, Excavator and uh, Shogun's team, little Shogun's team. Out.